UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Goliath! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So the fight is now underway. On one side, we have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Cut that cage off. Let's go. Cut him off. Punch him in the back. Oh, Big Don't punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, big elbow. Battle for position here. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Elbow 
elbow to the head there by Volko. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the fan. Big call for what's land. Now he gets back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just over three minutes now to go. Hey, set him up, set him up. There it is. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. As he lands the knee to the body, he's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volkov. Let's see some blood. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. Punches blocked. And they separate. All right, single collar tie now. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Got the single collar tie. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. Lands with the right hand. Checks that leg kick. Big kick land. Under a minute to go. Circling towards the left now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Let them go now. 30 seconds to go in this one. Nice straight punch. 20 seconds left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. First round winding down here. Oh, good head movement there, nice slip. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round. See, how about the display of striking? Just high level, I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 Lux match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there.
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Volkov's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Kick it off. Yeah. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Circling to his right. Volkov gets hit by that leg kick. Nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Just over three minutes to go. Keep going. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big power shot there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Stay sharp. Oh, single collar tie here. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Volkov. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain tighter, posture tighter, and rain down tighter. big strikes on your opponent. Good punch, Lance. Real sneaky body kick. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. One minute. Seconds to go in round two. Twenty seconds to go. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home 
as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Take the cage. Let's get that cage control now. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, collar tie. Volkov's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Unable to connect with the right. Volkov gets touched by that kick there. Bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. It's horrible. Muay Thai plump. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And there's another takedown attempt. Big punch land. Ooh. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Not much behind the takedown offering there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Punch over the top. Oh, nice. Nice. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Double leg takedown, stuffed. Good time. Good time. Nice punch lands over the top. And that one certainly found the target. Well, missed on that one. Single collar tie now. And now he's got the tie clinch. Massive knee to the body lane. Drop that left on him. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now he's got the more tie clinch. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. What a body kick. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Back and forth we go. Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. 
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Recover and relax. The striking looks great. I want you to stick it. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice kick to the midsection. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. to avoid that right hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Huge block there. Slips to avoid the right. Single collar tie there. Big elbow there, Lance. Take it down. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Kick to the body by Volkov. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, single collar tie now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch coming, it's blocked. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Volkov's got the tie clinch now. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Gonna shut your body off. Again. 
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? All right, next round is now underway. Previous right, right. round, not necessarily right. a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Volkov shot there is blocked. Oh, huge elbow! Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Changes his stance. Nice. Misses with that punch. Got the single collar tie. Liver kick. And they separate. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a... Oh! Unbelievable. Oh, he might be out. That'll do it! Oh! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop for this contest at one minute, 17 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Goliath! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.